folks, this is Mark Dispersed Camping Man. I just wanted to do this real quick uh, video. Uh, like some of you probably know, <clears throat> I am on my way to uh, the southern part of Utah. I'm going to be checking out Utah for the next several months. And uh, after leaving Arkansas, uh, going across Oklahoma, right before you get into Texas, there's a Black Kettle uh, National Grassland area there. And this is a part of right here. This is, a, this is the uh, Croton Creek Wildlife Area. I have been here before, I think about three, four years ago. This is a, one of my uh, overnight stops that I go to. Uh, instead of uh, parking at a Walmart parking lot, this is about 30 miles north of Interstate 40, and about eight miles down the road is uh, a little town called Cheyenne. This is a perfect little spot, uh, if you don't mind uh, traveling 30 miles one way out of the way off of I-40. Uh, this is a, a spot that I usually go to or overnight at whenever I'm heading out west. Let's take a look. Right there is a, a pretty good little dirt road. We just graveled it. This is coming off of the road here. It kind of does a loop here. So you pretty much fit any type of vehicle in here. Several uh, uh, camping spots. And since I've got uh, a Starlink, I am out here in the open. Last time I was here, I went down that road right there, backed up to the tree line over there. And right over there, you kind of see right through there is the, uh, like a little uh, holding lake from the Croton Creek. Yeah, folks, I uh, jumped up on my, uh, I threw up my uh, satellite here, my uh, Starlink, getting a uh, 100 megabyte speed. Uh, threw up a security camera right there. And I did hook up my generators. Like I said, folks, and this right here is a, I got my hot water heater going on. Think about taking a shower tonight. Uh, I am bringing my KLR, so I did bring my uh, trailer with me. And I've got my uh, toolbox. That's why I keep my uh, gas cans and my uh, Honda generators. It is definitely windy right now. I think it's a high right now is 50 degrees, and the wind is whipping it through here. It kind of a little chilly, but if it wasn't for that wind, it'd be just perfect temperature right now. Oklahoma is uh, notorious for the uh, high winds, especially coming up through here. Uh, as soon as I got past uh, Oklahoma City, that's when the wind really started picking up. I see all those uh, uh, windmills out there. Now I don't know why they have windmills here. It's pretty windy out here. Yeah, folks, so here's my camping spot. Thought I'd. Uh, Put this out here to you because, uh, like I said, if you're coming through uh, Oklahoma out west, you need a spot overnight. You don't want to go to Walmart or Cracker Barrel or something like that. So here is a definitely good option. And like I said, this is like a little circle drive down through here. I'm going to disperse camp. I'm going to set up right there. And if you look right here, you look right here, see there's a little trail right here. And we've got some placards up here to... Uh, show you what's all growing in the area. I think I've done this in my first video when I was here about three, four years ago. Put a little hackberry right there. I'm not gonna go this whole trail, I'll show you this trail because I've already did it in my last video on this spot. There you go. Switchgrass. This trail leads out that way, you can go around, brings you back around, and then it brings you back to the uh, that little lake, uh, Croton Creek area over there. I'll take you over there where I used to, uh, my first time I was here, about three, four years ago, where I camped out at. I'll take you out through here. And right here, there's that little lake, uh, Croton Creek Lake, that feeds into it. I tell you about earlier. And so here's where I camped at three years ago. I think I stayed here like four or five nights when I first found this spot. It's a pretty cool looking area through here. Pretty clean too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I probably could have got a signal with my Starlink out through here. Yeah. Yeah. Then you got your uh, path over here to the uh, to the lake. This is a pretty nice sized lake. This is a Croton Creek Lake, I guess. Croton Creek runs into this lake. This is kind of like a wildlife preserve. 
got ducks. Like I said, the trail runs through here also, so. Management is the key to diversified. You can tell this trail is pretty well maintained. I like after driving six, seven hours on the interstate, I like getting here in, uh, early enough in the evening where I can actually uh, take a hike, sitting in a truck all day driving. This is an excellent spot. And this is probably my, like I said, the fourth time I've been here, overnight at least, and I haven't seen anybody out here. This barely, this is rarely gets used, I believe. So yeah, uh, every time, it's, even the uh, time I was here, four or five nights, I didn't see anybody out here. Croton Creek Wildlife Area for me is a great little overnight stop while traveling with a great little lake and hiking trail and lots of wildlife to view. Hey folks, if you like this type of content, hit that subscribe button, like button, and leave a comment if you want. Hey, thanks for watching.